Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something very special for you and I'm very excited about this. I found out that near where I live there is a Pokemon store that's called Pokemon Center that sells everything related to either the cartoon or the games. And ever since I was a little kid I used to play the games, I don't do it anymore but I enjoyed it so much and I'm very nostalgic to be going to a place that sells stuff about what really was my childhood. So yep, come along with me, I'll show you what I can find. So we are finally here and the first thing that I can tell you is that it is extremely crowded from what I can tell, even the line, if I buy something, which I still don't know, I want to, to see if I like something, is amazingly large. So I might be here for a while. So just by looking around, I can assure you that their most popular product, obviously it's going to be Pikachu, so I want to see how many different kinds of Pikachus I can find in this store, just for fun. We got Latin Pikachu, Big Pikachu, JC Pikachu. I don't know if counting Pikachus was a good idea because there's still a bunch more. Scientist Pikachu, Police Pikachu, Tennis Player. Well, that's an absolute shame. I just got kicked out of the store because they don't allow vlogging. They wouldn't tell me why. But it's fine, I didn't end up buying anything and it's a shame that I couldn't get to show you everything else that was in the store because I felt very nostalgic just being there and uh, even though it's crowded I had a good time it's just a shame that this happened just being a vlogger is, is tough sometimes like you expose yourself to the public people look at you different and then being told that you can't do it it's a shame. I don't blame them. It's just it's not their fault. It's the, the company's policies. Maybe. I, <laughs> I don't know. I will find another Pokemon store and well ask them if I can film there. And now I don't have a plan. I don't know where to go. So I'm just gonna walk around Osaka and see what I can find to show you guys. It's going to be fun. I still don't understand a thing about what she's saying, but she has an amazing voice. We just decided to, set, uh, to sit here for a while and listen to some music, then I'll just keep going on my way. The tip that I can give you if you're traveling in a budget is to bring your own food. For example, I made myself some chicken and some soybeans and that way you can save up, up to almost 2,000 yen which is about $20 a day. So if you're traveling on a budget that is fantastic news and you can buy more stuff that way as well. That has to be by far the driest coldest chicken that I've ever had in my life but hey at least I'm saving money. And that is going to be it for today's video. This was a special video that I wanted to put out this Thursday. So I'm planning on maybe doing videos uh, each Sunday and each, each Thursday. Maybe on Sundays I'll travel to some place and show you how it is. And on Thursdays I'll do something more about what kind of stuff you can expect to find in different uh, stores or other kinds of things around Japan. 
If you like this idea, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. But from now, that's going to be it from me. I am very sad that I didn't get to show you the whole store. I promise that I will find another store and I'll show it to you guys. But I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.